Hello, hello, everybody. Hope you've all had an amazing um, holiday weekend and that your week's going by really well. Oh, apparently I tried to put in a password too many times, so I'll be able to see your comments in a minute. Hello, Libby. You guys having an awesome time this week? I hope so. Also, does this Tuesday feel like a Monday to anybody? Can't be just me. So in about a minute, I'll be able to see your comments. I'm just now finishing up my three minute mix of resin. This is Stone Coat Art Coat, best in the biz, and hopefully ours will be here soon. So, now that I have my resin all mixed up, I'm gonna mix some colors. And the colors I'm using today, sweet, I got in. So the colors I'm using today are Spearmint by <laughs> Color Passion. Hope you can see it because I can't see what you're looking at. Anyways, Spearmint by Color Passion and then Ruby by Just Resin, the paste. I have a paste and a powder. Color Obsession Rich Gold Shimmer. And Red Change Sparkle by Color Passion. I haven't used this yet, and I'm really excited to use it. And the Ruby. And I'm going to use some Color Passion Base Silt White as well. I'm glad you got all of your goodies. Hello, Jerry, Gail, Rumpel, how, how it goes. Um, Meeks, what's up? Susan, Carrie, Carol, Jan, Diana, Nancy. So glad to see all of you guys here. Okay, let's mix resin. All right, that's not going to come apart, so it's, it's going to be a double cup for forever. So... I'm pretty sure I'm going to do another negative space. Let me know if you guys are getting tired of seeing those, but I find that they're, in my opinion, the most like classy and unique. Those colors sound beautiful, right? I'm excited about them. Hi, Stephanie. Thank you, Carol, for reminding people to hit the like button. Jackie, it's 4.53 a.m. That's bananas. So this is the first color I'm mixing up. It is Spearmint by Color Passion. It's a very beautiful, like, Tiffany-esque aqua color. I don't need quite that much. So this is a paste, which means it is not a powder. And this particular paste doesn't have any shimmer to it. So it is what I consider a flat, even though it's gonna be super shiny in terms of like gloss. I guess I could say glossy because it's in resin, but it'll have no shimmer to it. So it's just a really beautiful, clean, awesome color. It's one of my faves. And this will actually be our cell activator or base cell that we use. If we get cells, that's gonna be why. I had you at Aqua and Ruby, right? It's one of my favorite color combinations. What is it, PG? Erica, what will you be teaching at Fluid Art Experience in Dallas? Um, so I'm actually not teaching at the Fluid Art Experience. I'm actually just doing demos because it is uh, mostly geared to acrylic artists. So I won't be really teaching anything there. I'll be just doing 
demos. If I have the materials to do demos on demand, I'll do that. But I know I'm going to do a whole bunch of oceans and um, geodes and going over flood coats because I know that that was requested the last few years at the Fluid Art Experience here in Dallas. So the next color I'm mixing up is Rich Gold Shimmer. If you've never seen this color, then you haven't been watching my channel long. Look at that beautiful molten liquid gold color. And it also does really fun stuff in resin. What's up, Phoenix Flow Art? How are you doing? I'm loving this palette already. All right, so the next color is going to be Ruby Paste. And I've actually never used this color, I don't think. And so I'm very excited and interested because it's kind of like, um, it's hard to, it's almost the reddish color that's in Patina, but it's less orange. So it's going to play off the spearmint super super well this is a brand new jar so i'm just mixing it up because paste once they're on the shelf for a little bit they'll separate but this is what the ruby looks like libby you're waiting for which color to be back in stock Oh, sorry, I kind of went off screen with that, but give me a moment and I will show you what it looks like in the resin. Oh, rich gold. I have rich gold shimmer in stock. Are you sure it's rich gold shimmer? Or is it just a rich gold? It's by Color Obsession. So that is a good looking color. Another thing I like about paste is that they mix in so easily to the resin. And I don't really have to worry about those little flecks of color that never mix in. So that's something I super love about a paste over a powder, but there's, I mean, obviously there's times when you would need a powder over a paste. Okay, so this next color is called Red Change Sparkle, and it reminds me a lot of the Diamond Dust from Stone Coat, or there's something else. But it's, um, it's like a larger particle that I'm sure will mix into resin just beautifully. But it's got a red interference to it. But it also has that high sparkle-ness to it. So it's, it's looking good, whatever it is that she put in here. Now, I always overload my powders because I find that they just look better that way. And so I'm making two. I'm not sure why, I just feel like I need two of them. Hi, Beam. Just gonna make some art. Mine frame. So you can see it's got that sparkle and also it's interference, kind of a reddish color. Ugh. All right, Libby, just let me know. I'm happy to check it and change it. So the red change sparkle is by Color Passion. Yeah, I'm super fan of the ruby. 
Okay, that and that and this and this. Also this. I'm gonna keep some uh, resin to the side just in case I need extra of a color. Ugh. It's there, okay, good. Ruby is a hit there too. Sweet. Okay, so I'm just gonna save a little bit of resin just in case, because you never know, you never know. And I'm gonna mix up some passion base white into the rest of this clear. Ugh, I almost dropped it, that would have been bad. Hey Clara, what's up Evelyn? Hello Joyce. I was gonna try to make this kind of translucent white, but uh, I went too, too hard in the paint, as it were. Actually, maybe we'll do that with this clear. We'll just put all of this out. And then I'll mix up this clear with just the white that's left on my stir stick and that will make it a translucent color. And so then it'll work. So I wanted, um, let's say a vitamin D milk and then a, um, a lactose-free milk. That's the two colors of white that I was kind of going for. I don't know. It's kind of... You think it's 1%? Oh, well then 1%. And so now I'm adding also the red change to the background. Y'all just follow me through this process. I promise it will look amazing in a minute, I hope. This is just background. So I'm gonna blend out everything, just kind of skimming over the top of everything so that it's not mixing, but it is filling in any open areas. If Rhonda was doing this, she would call it melding, which is a pretty good word for it. All right, hey. Because I don't want to mix the colors. I want them to just be next to each other so I can still see the depth in the piece. I need to get some fire. Found it. I'm going to pop these bubbles and show you guys what this red change sparkle looks like next to this beautiful white. I know I saw another empty spot, but that's fine. Ugh. I almost fell over, but I'm fine. See that subtle sparkle right there? That's the red change. And so it has that hint of that reddish color when it hits the light. Never mind the air bubbles that I still have. I'll get them. I'm just tilting this slightly right now just to get some consistent flow in my background. There we go. Mind frame a little bit. Cool. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. 
Your stuff is always amazing. I don't know about always, but I do always try. We're an ugly stage, trust the process. Very, very that. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we have background done. So now at this point we could do pretty much anything and it would probably work out. I think I might um, pretty sure I'm gonna negative space this because I don't want to get rid of the background. I don't want it to fully be covered. This could be a vintage all on its own. Thousand percent. Rhonda would be so proud. Okay. I'm gonna do a negative piece, but I'm gonna try to like kind of doodle with it with um, pulling some colors out and swirling it kind of the way I do with um, alcohol, nope, acrylics. So I'm trying to space these just a little bit different just to see what it what would happen. So we'll find out together. And then of course, the gold. Okay. So now we have everything. Hey Tim. Oh, I'm so nervous because I think these colors are so great. So I just hope I do the colors justice. I know it's weird. I know. Okay, so if you've seen this channel at all ever, any kind of times you've seen me swipe, I'm going to swipe just a little bit different that you guys may not catch that it's different, but for me it's going to be different because I'm going to try to keep some negative areas in between the swipes so that I can kind of doodle in those areas, but we'll see. So I'm gonna let the resin pick up. I'm gonna take my time. And so I'm wanting like a good amount of space in between. Ugh. All right, well, never mind about that area. So I'll swipe through that so that I can kind of bring out some designs. Welcome back, Libby. Oh, I know, Evelyn, Tammy Anderson's WAP genius with her acrylics. I always give my swipes a little bit of design pull. That's totally up to the artist, if that's something you want to do. I just like that kind of movement. Oh, I didn't leave a whole bunch of space in between on that one. I'll do better next time. A wiggle wave. That's very true, Evelyn. Well, thank you, Jan. I am a fan of these colors as well. All right, we're almost done with this boring swipe process where we can do some fun things, some doodles, as it were. I'm just gonna stagger the poles just slightly And by that I mean, so since I pulled right here, I'm going to move my swipe upward just a little bit to start the pull on this side. It always reminds me of ribbon candy. Can you get cells with resin? Yeah, I've got some going on right down here. I'll bring you guys in 
for a close-up in just a moment. I'm going to add a little bit more ruby to my paper on this one because it's I don't have that much right here. Now I need to get a little bit of paper and make this make sense. All right. So I need to add a little bit more of everything right here because it's kind of sank a little bit. Satin Skies, thank you so much. Love what you all are doing. I've learned so much. Well, that's what I'm here for. I am always so excited to help people learn, especially if I feel like I know enough about it to share knowledge. That one is an odd-looking swipe, but... Maybe it'll work. If not, we'll go back in and fix it. So, let me hit just a little bit of heat and then I'll show you the cells that we are generating up close. Okay, I'm up. Let me turn a little bit. beautiful cell structure. Okay. Thank you, Pam Cole. If you guys are new, please subscribe. It really helps our channel grow when you guys subscribe. Leave a comment, share if you're so inclined. How long is your work time with this? With Art Coat, I can work it up to two hours, really. Rumpel, we're always glad to see you here, and thank you for the compliments. So I'm gonna swipe in a little bit more gold on this one, because I want to. I feel like it needs a little bit extra. So I just put a little bit of gold on my swiping paper, and I always swipe towards myself. Whoops. You have a little something something that ends up in the rest of your resin. You can always just wipe it off. Don't freak out. No sense in freaking out. My cup fell over. Which cup? Oh, underneath, yeah. Thank you, Miss Joyce. All right, I'm gonna do another ruby with a little bit of gold to fill in right here. So I wanted to kind of doodle a little bit with this. I didn't, I'm not sure if it'll work or if it'll look good, but I'm gonna give it a shot though. I don't know if it's gonna stay, but We'll find out together. I'm trying to wipe the stick off after every time I pull through colors. I don't want to contaminate my other colors. Let's see.
Trying to decide which colors I want to add in what areas. I may add a drop of the ruby through that. Actually, you guys can't even see that because of the glare. Hold on. I hate it when I pull a glove and it looks like I'm about to get a glove, which is what I'm going for, and then 42 of them come out. Can't be the only one. I know it's not just me. I know this. Right. Is that too dark? Hopefully not. I know, I'm so excited about the ruby. Color groups are difficult to narrow down. But I mean, my general rule with picking colors is I pick a main color, so for example, in this one it would be the um, the aqua, and then a good accompanying color to that would be the red, the ruby, and then I always choose a black or white, and then some kind of metallic. So my general color palettes are usually around four colors. So then I did white and then the gold. Just trying to add a little bit of gold in between those to tie in all of the colors. I'm wondering if I should kind of keep it even. So if it's red over here, then I do red over there. And if it's aqua right here, and I do aqua right there. I haven't quite decided yet. What do you guys think? Thank you guys, thank you, thank you. Trying to decide what I want to do with some of this because I had in mind things that I wanted to do. But after doing the piece, I feel like it may distract from it. You know what I mean? That's always been something difficult for me is this is what I have in mind, but after doing the piece, it doesn't look like it would go. Like I wanted to do a whole bunch of these type things, but I feel like sticking with these filigree-esque designs would go with the piece a little bit better than adding a bunch of negative wispies 
I don't even know if that makes sense. Let me know. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, the gold is super, super awesome color. I do sell the ruby paste. I have it in stock right now. Hi, Rosemary. So the ruby is ruby paste by Just Resin. The background is Red Change Sparkle from Color Passion. The gold is Rich Gold Shimmer from Color Obsession. The aqua is Color Passion Spearmint, and the white is Base Cell White from Color Passion. Okay. Well, I'm glad, Rumpel. Sometimes I talk and I'm like, hmm. People are going to think I'm actually nuts, which is fine, but I want to make sure that what I'm saying is um, it makes sense. I agree. I'm going to bring those, these little filigrees all the way up. I think they look better with a little accent in the center. Now it's starting to look like an underwater something. Not really coral, but maybe. Maybe some kind of coral. Hybrid. The seaweed. Well, thanks, you guys. Thank you, thank you. Trying to decide what color goes into which one is kind of easy because all the colors complement really well. Except for this one, I kind of got crazy with the aqua, so now I need to outline it. And that worked. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm just picking up a little bit of the resin color with the end of my stir stick. So this gold looks like it's spreading out a lot, so be mindful of that. It, whatever magic is in it, appears to travel. Hello, Kelly. Have you or Jeff done any art pieces for a local business in your area? Yeah, we've got paintings and murals up all over, all over Dallas. I'm gonna 
I'll give you guys a close up. That gold just is magical. These colors just work so well together. And that subtle sparkle in the background is amazing. I was gonna do a little bit more with it, but looking at it, it's one of those know when to not anymore. So that is amazing. Love those. I love a rigid cell structure like that. Focus, cool. Oh, my outfit matches it. Hello, Vamp. I hope you're having a good afternoon of running errands. What's up, Joe? Jillian, thank you. You hate green except mint. Jillian, same. I know the cells really worked out. Can you sell these colors as a kit? So they're all by different people. Um, thank you, Pam. So all these colors are by different people and they all had different size jars. I could sell it as like a sample size kit if you guys are super interested. I know Color Passion put together similar colors to these for um, a kit that she should be sending me some. How about that, where it's like outlined on the inside, so it kind of has a shadow where that rich gold shimmer went over the ruby and it just showed the aqua underneath it. Love it. Sorry, I promise I'll move on. Oh, Jan, thank you so much. You just made my day. I love how you just calmly sit there in your socks making beautiful artwork. So I'm supposed to have shoes on, but Oops. I was working on this one before the live. I'm not done with it yet, though. Also a work in progress. Really appreciate the compliment, you guys. Y'all are amazing. Yeah, that's a piece Jeff is working on. And so there's my that. He's also working on this guy and this lady. You're new to resin and just made the first piece that I'd tell people I would do. That's awesome. I had a few not so great resin pieces in the beginning and I still have not so great resin pieces, but I am so proud of you for doing one that you are proud to tell people that you did. Because if you have never actually worked with resin, it's difficult. Anyways, Lacy Fancy Seaweed. And maybe I'll call this one Lacy Fancy Seaweed. Absolutely not, Evelyn. I will always keep with the ink. The Dragon Piece is um, a Jeff original. We're working on a new concept with these hexagons. I think it looks a little bit pixelated, so I think that's pretty cool. There's a Bowie doing what Bowies do. This is the reference for the dragon piece. 
But yeah, I know for a fact that at the time of filming this that I have all of these colors in stock. Uh, Jerry, what did you use for the one you did earlier? Which one? This one? This one? That one? That one. Okay, the resin piece, the lip piece, the alcohol ink piece, the dragon piece, and the Johnny Cash is behind me. Do alcohol inks fade under resin? If you seal them in properly, then they will not fade under resin. But you have to use an archival spray before the resin and don't drip your inks into resin because inks in resin will fade. I hope that makes sense, Jan. Oh, yeah, a few companies do fade. A few companies are not light fast, so you have to be sure um, about what brand you're using. I'm using, in this piece, Copic and Ranger Jacquard. So I know those are pigmented enough to... Oh, don't put it in direct sunlight. Well, yeah. Direct sunlight's bad for any artwork. I would love to watch you do an alcohol ink piece. So maybe tomorrow I'll do an alcohol ink piece similar to this one if you guys would like. But I have to get going and prepare for an inventory to come in of this brand right here. But just to remind you guys, the ruby color right there, the dark reddish color, is just resin ruby. The sparkle in the background of this piece is Red Change Sparkle from Color Passion. The awesome gold that is in this piece is Rich Gold Shimmer from Color Obsession. What's up, Mike? The aqua color is Spearmint from Color Passion. And then also the white in the background is... You can't read it, but it's base cell white from Color Passion. You can see there's even cells a little bit in the background. These faint ghost cells right here where the change sparkle powder is actually selling over that base cell, which is bananas to have a powder that sells. I love it. Um, okay, so tomorrow I'll do, tomorrow I will do an alcohol ink piece. He's painted a cup for your dad. If you guys didn't see what Mike Soul Minded Creations did for us. Super talented. Love it. How do you get the bubble look on the bottom of the alcohol piece? I just dropped different dilutions, I guess. I don't know if that's a word. Um, of alcohol. So I started with basically almost clear and built up to an opaque brown black. And so that's how that happened. This is my favorite wall in the house. It has artwork sent to us from a bunch of different people. And so I just love it. Oh, thank you, Ms. Joyce. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Jan. All right, you guys. We got to get back to doing all the things. But I hope you enjoyed this piece today. I loved arting with you guys. We'll be back tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Share our videos. Leave us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment after the video posts. Look how awesome that is. I could stare at that bit forever. And yeah, I hope to see you guys tomorrow for our next live at 6 p.m. Central. Until then, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember that we do the tests so you don't have to. Have an awesome day, y'all. Bye.